RV life wrecked my back and I had to have surgery. Don't let this happen to you. Welcome to the channel. I'm Liz. I'm a full-time RVer. I've been on the road almost five years and this life can be a physical life, particularly if you're doing it solo. Now, if you're like a lot of us and you have back problems, you will definitely want to watch this video. I had surgery about three years into RV life. It ended up being a miracle surgery. I swear I have the back of a 20 year old. So I will talk about that more later. But first I want to talk about what wrecked my back, which actually was was RV furniture. Boy, they make the furniture really cheap, even though I was in kind of a high-end fifth wheel for most of that time. I was sitting at the RV chair, at the RV table, editing videos, you know, for several hours a day. And that's what really messed my back up. After the surgery, I had to make some big changes so I could continue to do RV life. This is the office desk chair that I got and it is not an ordinary desk chair. In fact, I had to go up in price point to find a very important feature. And it has a lot of cool features, you know, like it'll recline and stuff like that. But the most important feature for me, if you look at my legs here, they're pretty long. And what I learned about supporting the back and preventing back pain is to make sure that your hamstrings are supported. So most of the cheaper chairs that I I sat in my legs sat way out here unsupported so this part with the seat moving forward was just so important I'll put a link to this chair in the comments but I really don't think you should shop online you need to go into an office store not just like an office depot or a chain but an actual specialized office store that's what I did when I was in Mobile Alabama and actually sit in the chairs and try them out adjust them and make sure that they'll work for you I was told to sit for 30 minutes and work and then stand for 30 minutes. And that's exactly what I'm able to do with my sit stand desk. I have had this now right since the back surgery. So we're talking a year and a half and it has a little drawer in it. Mine's kind of kind of messy, but it's good to have a drawer and it has a memory feature. You'll find some cheaper sit stand desks, but they won't have a memory feature. So each time you have to try and play around to get that in the right spot. It has a lot of good workspace and you know, it does the job. This is pretty reasonably priced too. I also upgraded my mattress. Now I had upgraded it before, but after the surgery, I'd say about six months later, I upgraded it again. What a lot of people don't realize is you could spend a couple hundred thousand dollars on a motorhome or a high-end fifth wheel and still have a bad mattress. I swear those mattresses are like cardboard. So I got an RV mattress by Brooklyn Bedding. I have an Aurora Lux and this mattress is awesome. I chose soft. It was actually the folks at RV Mattress that taught me I had been sleeping on the wrong firmness my whole adult life. For my weight and my sleep position, I actually need to be on a soft. It's like sleeping on a cloud. And guess what? I wake up pain free. I'm 60 years old. I think that's pretty awesome. I think most of us expect when we get older, well, you know, we're going to wake up with aches and pains, but having the right mattress can make such a huge difference. Well, I'm really excited that RV Mattress by Brooklyn Bedding is sponsoring this video because this is such a great product and it's perfect for RVers. Number one, there's a 120 night sleep trial, so you can check it out. Number two, they will ship it for free directly to you, which is so great when you're on the road. It comes in a box. It can be a little bit heavy. So if you do have back problems, definitely get some help getting it in the door. Once you have it in the door, it puffs up and it's ready to sleep on. There's a 10 year warranty and their factory is in Arizona. So you get the mattress pretty quick. There is a special sale going on right now, June 30th through July 4th. If you use my link in the description and in the pinned comment, you will save 30% on your RV mattress. If you happen to be watching this later, you can use the special code in the link to get 25% off. Thanks again to RV Mattress by Brooklyn Bedding for sponsoring this video. 
Probably the hardest thing on my back and yours too is driving, particularly long travel days. So I splurged and I have a travel cushion and it's not just any cushion. This one is filled with air. You, there's a pump and you can adjust how much air goes in it. I bought this cover separately so you don't have to have the cover. I just wanted something that looks kind of nice. This one um, I've had actually since before my surgery. I use it not just for long travel days, but if I'm out exploring in my truck, I use it there too. I highly recommend it if you find that your back gets stiff after driving for a long time. I also recommend that you take regular breaks. That's the best thing you can do for your back is to stop, get up, take a break, and then resume driving. Now about my surgery, I got so lucky. I really do feel like I have the back of a 20 year old. I am not restricted at all. I definitely take it easy, but there is nothing that I can't do that I was able to do before all this. So what I had was an enlarged disc, a herniated disc. It was pushing so much on the nerve. I was just in agony for 30 days before I finally decided I have to have surgery. What I had was a microdisectomy and I had it done by Dr. Andrew Henderson from the orthopedic group in Mobile, Alabama. Well, traditional back surgery, you're opened up so much that they won't let you climb stairs for six weeks. Well, if you've ever been in a camper, you know there's no way to get into any kind of trailer, fifth wheel, or motorhome without climbing steps. If I had been told that I couldn't climb steps for six weeks, I would have had to move to a hotel. I mean, and that would have cost a fortune. The thing about having a micro is that my incision is only this big. It's like maybe an inch and a half. And I was able to go home that day and climb steps into the trailer without an issue. I had that surgery a year and a half ago in November 2021. At the time, Dr. Henderson was the only one in town, probably the only one or two maybe in the whole state of Alabama doing that surgery. So hopefully since then, more people are doing it. It really is a game changer. Lots of people have asked me to talk about insurance on the road. You definitely want insurance that will cover you nationwide. The insurance that I had when I had the back surgery just really didn't cover it. It was not good insurance. So I did research and I'm with Zion Health. This is like a MediShare. It's not what they call insurance. They say it's a health share cooperative. There's a flat fee. I pay like $258 a month. And there's $1,000 on the first event, and then they pay the rest. So that means for my back surgery, I had gone to a chiropractor, I'd had an MRI, I had done physical therapy. I would have paid $1,000, and it would have paid for all that plus the surgery because that's considered one event. Instead, I paid for most of that surgery out of pocket. I really like the program. The main reason is because it's a nonprofit. Also, they have a slush fund. So if there's something that you have like a pre-existing condition that they won't cover, you can actually apply for some of the slush funds and they could approve you and actually pay for it anyway. Again, do your own research. I'm not an insurance agent. I'll have a link with more information in the comments. It took me 26 years to get out here and start living RV life. I don't want to do anything that would jeopardize that. So if there are any back saving tips that you have, just let me know in the comments. And if you've enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share. As always, these are exciting times to push past fear, build confidence, and live amazing.